Hello and welcome to another Castles video and today I'm stood outside this beautiful property on the Comp in Eaton Bray. Uh, this four bedroom detached home as you can see sits elegantly here along this semi-private road just off of the main street in Eaton Bray. It's a lovely village location, absolutely picturesque. I mean if you open your ears you can hear that there's literally nothing uh, to hear at the moment so it's a very very quiet area and you can see that the property's got this massive amount of frontage I mean I'm standing probably six foot into the driveway already and yet you've still got all of this space behind you here um, God knows how many cars you could fit on this drive but it would be a lot you've also got this nice big double garage which you can see is all integral to the property uh, and obviously it's got really really nice curb appeal as well it's a fantastic home and we're gonna go and have a look at it so come with me So you join me inside the property where immediately we have doors off to the rather impressive kitchen breakfast room that I'm going to show you shortly. You've also got access off to the living room and also downstairs WC as well as lovely window there just letting in lots of light into your hallway which is excellent. So the downstairs WC to begin with and you can see that you've got uh, a very nicely appointed room obviously with a light in the top there as well and then obviously on the other side you've got your tiled sink and storage. So this is a proper cloak room in that sense, which is absolutely fantastic. Storage under the stairs as well, which is lovely. Uh, and then also we've got this, which is the living room. A lovely, lovely, great big size. I've even got a projector installed here, which is wonderful. So uh, if you're a, a keen cinematographer, you definitely know you could fit one of those in here. And it looks like all the infrastructure has been put in place for it as well. Whether or not the projector stays or not is entirely down to the vendors. You can get a good impression by having a look around here as to how wonderful it would be with all the curtains down, a nice premiere movie on, absolutely lovely. But this is a massive room and the vocal point is this beautiful fireplace here which is obviously being used, uh, although very well kept as well. And then obviously you've got the double doors that open out into the dining room just behind me there as well. We'll go and have a look at that very shortly but first let's go and have a look at the utility room. So we step out of the corridor into this sort of internal lobby which is a nice useful practical bit of space and then we've got the utility room through here which if you follow me through you'll see is a wonderful size. You've got all of the uh, space you would need for a additional fridge freezer, you've obviously got your boiler installed on the wall there, you've also got a countertop as well with a sink in there, storage, and then obviously you've got your washing machine and tumble dryer installed there as well, space for yours of course, and then obviously a door out to the side as well. And finally you've got your airing cupboard in here with a massive water tank. Now moving on, this is the really, really impressive feature of this house, this wonderfully large, great big kitchen dining room and you can see by having a look around the vendors have got these wonderful glass uh, floor to ceiling windows running all the way along that continues into the dining room as well but this breakfast room is a lovely space you've got a little casual area laid out at the bottom here dining table just for uh, uh, a few odd uh, bits and bobs maybe the smaller meals of the day even a nice little countertop breakfast bar and this kitchen is wonderful. Uh, you've even got the fridge has been beautifully blended in as well. So big American fridge freezer uh, tucked away in there. And obviously you've got other fitted appliances like your double oven and also your dishwasher as well, which is just down there. Uh, and then obviously window over the sink and uh, loads and loads of storage. This is a wonderful, wonderful kitchen as you can see by having a good look around. You can really just imagine yourself cooking right here on the stove, overlooking that beautiful garden, watching kids run around, watching your, uh, your other half doing the gardening, maybe on a Sunday or something like that. So it's a really wonderful space. Now let's go and have a quick look in here into the dining room. So coming into the dining room, you can see straight away those doors I referenced earlier, just opening up, breathing all that light into the living room. And then behind me here, you've got this wonderfully appointed 
dining room with, again, those spectacular views across the garden. Those floor to ceiling windows are absolutely beautiful. They really let a massive amount of light into the property. And as you can see from this rather lovely large dining room table, you can see the room comfortably sits eight. You could probably actually push that number up if you're experiencing high volumes at Christmas time, perhaps. Also, a lovely feature has been made out of this glass brickwork. Um, just in the middle here, again, letting all that light through, giving you a bit of a blurry effect into the kitchen. It's absolutely spectacular. So that's the roundup of the, grounds, uh, the ground floor of the property. If you come with me, we'll go and have a little wander and have a look upstairs at the accommodation. Come with me. So you join me on the first floor for the property where we have rooms off to bedroom one through till four and we've also got access to the family bathroom as well. So let's start in the first room, bedroom number four, which is just through here. The smallest room of the lot, currently being used as a home office, as you can see, um, and this room is a fantastic size. It really demonstrates how really large the property is. Um, this is definitely a double bedroom. You've got storage and a lovely big window overlooking the front of the property uh, with loads of light coming in there. There you are, nice views out the front, and you just get a good impression of the overall size of the room really really good size lots of storage obviously being positioned as a as an office as it is uh, you can see how it's all being used which is wonderful so a lovely big double bedroom in there now onto the third bedroom this is obviously actually being appointed as a bedroom and you can see straight away what a whopping great size it is absolutely massive i've been to many many properties where this is the master bedroom this size and this is the third bedroom in this house so that just goes to show how truly big this property really is and have a look around you can see you've got space for wardrobes a nice big double bed side tables and obviously even more storage space as well and then obviously again lovely big window nice view of the front absolutely spectacular so moving on to the second bedroom, which is a massive step up. Just to uh, reiterate the vendor's position again, they are currently in the throes of moving out. So by the time you come to purchase this property, it will be end of chain. Uh, but as such, they are actually moving out, and this is a result of some of that. Um, but if you look past all the belongings in here, you can see it's an absolutely enormous room, loads and loads and loads of space in here. Absolutely tons for storage and obviously big bed. You can really imagine a well-appointed room in here. And this is one of the first bedrooms with that beautiful view over the garden. You can see it from up the top here, just over the top of the extension there. Absolutely lovely. But having a look around, you can see it's huge, this room absolutely enormous you really could fit a lot in here the next room we've coming to is the family bathroom which is just through here and obviously you've got a, a nice freestanding shower chrome towel rail very nicely appointed toilet uh, sink and a roll top bath a very modern looking roll top bath which you can see just behind me there absolutely lovely uh, obviously big mirror fitted to the wall as well, so a really nicely appointed family bathroom. So the piece de resistance in the property is the master bedroom, which we're going to have a look at right now. And we come into this nice little uh, sort of semi-corridor, which gives us a door off to the ensuite, which I'll show you quickly. Window in the side there letting some light in. Obviously you've got your uh, vanity screen there and obviously your toilet down the bottom and sink. And then around the corner you've got this lovely big double shower as well. Look at that. A really fantastic size which is wonderful because a lot of en suites are, are built into very small areas whereas this obviously is a lot of room in there. And now the main feature of this master bedroom, the actual room itself. And all of this fitted wardrobe has all been custom made and built into that section over there. Really, really good size, mixture of drawers and hanging rails, etc. You've then got this wonderfully large Juliet balcony overlooking the rear garden, which is beautiful. And then you've got space for an enormous bed. This has to be probably one of the bigger beds that I get to see. Uh, you've also got big side tables as well. And then just generally looking at the floor space for the room, you can see there's loads of it dotted all over the place. It's a really fantastic size, this. 
So that's the upstairs of the property. We've had a good look around in there. Now let's go and have a little look out into the garden. Come with me. So let's step out into the garden where we've got this absolutely beautiful patio, a really large space. And you can see with the furniture that the uh, vendors have placed down that you've got this nice sort of zoned area. Uh, obviously this is your main feature in the middle here, this lovely table. And then obviously you've got your uh, beautiful, beautiful windows going all the way across the back here of the property. So I've shown you a little bit of the patio area, just coming round to the side here. We've got uh, obviously that side entrance that we saw earlier in the utility room. But you've also got this nice big side entrance into the garage as well. And what a lovely sized garage it is too. It's, you can see it's a big double you can see it can comfortably fit a car in here as well as lots and lots of other storage uh, loads and loads of tool placements all dotted around you've also got uh, alarm meter and fuse box and gas meters and all sorts of different things in here and then obviously loads of storage on this side and an electric up and over garage door so double garage there absolutely smashing so let's uh, have a little wander into the rest of the garden over here come with me and then obviously the rest of the garden just extends all the way out here as well. So it's a really beautiful array of bushes, mature hedgerows, beautiful flowers. Um, we've also got a, a low picket fence to next door as well, which I always personally see as a very, very good sign. It, it demonstrates that there's a very good relationship with next door. Uh, and then obviously the summer house at the back here as well as your shed. So if this looks like the kind of property that would suit you, then do give me a call. My name's Aaron, I'm at Castles in Berkhamsted, and you can call me on 01442 865 252. And I would be delighted to show you around this absolutely elegant property. Uh, you can also email me, aaron at castlesestateagents.co.uk. But until next time, I've been Aaron, take care.